Welcome to Muslim Apologetics Australia. In this video, we'll be highlighting a video that was published by Converted to Islam, who's an apostate Muslim that claims that he left Islam, claims that he was a Muslim previously, and that he's left Islam and now he's making these anti-Islamic videos. And one video is called Worst Creatures in Islam. And as you know, Christians usually misquote and take things out of context when they quote the verses of the Quran or when they quote the Hadith to show that Allah hates Christians. Well, I did watch his video and I thought in the future I will do a counter rebuttal and a response to this. Uh, but it's, it's interesting because when I suggested I will make a video rebuttal against him, I actually received a death threat from a Christian. Let's see. So we'll go down the page, converted to Islam, as you can see in the comment section. And here it is. So I actually raised an objection uh, to the video because, uh, you know, it's interesting. They take things out of context. You know, there are many pa passages where Allah invites Christians to Islam. In fact, there's even a beautiful verse that says, Nearest in love to the Muslims are those who call themselves Christians. Right? So, why do Christians actually ignore that verse that shows love and harmony between Muslims and Christians? But they selectively quote hadith. Why is that? And there are many reasons why Allah may call the, uh, the Christians, some of the Christians, the worst of creatures, because they have turned, you know, unlike the Jews, you know, there are verses in the Quran where Allah speaks about the Jews, and He says that the Jews have earned His anger because they were, pro they were known to be prophet killers. They used to try and kill prophets. But the Christians could be the worst of creatures, because they themselves received the prophet, they accepted him, but they did the most horrendous crime, which is worse than every crime, and that is to belittle God and blaspheme him so much to turn him into a man God. You know, that this God who is greater than all, you put him into the womb of a woman, and he basically gets squeezed out the vaginal canal of a woman. I mean, do you understand how blasphemous that is to put God in such a blasphemous position to, uh, of impurity? To say that God was born through a woman, through the vaginal canal of a woman, that is disgusting to bring God down to such a level. So this is why God may say that they are the worst of creatures. As Allah even says that they said they to, uh, that Isa is the son of God. Jesus is the son of God. And Allah says the heavens are about to rip asunder for what they have said. Now Allah doesn't say that for anything else. He doesn't really conf confront anyone else. But this is something so blasphemous to say that Allah has a son. You know, Even the Bible says in the book of Job that man is but a worm. Is equivalent to a worm. How can you say that this worm is part of the Trinity, part of the God? This is this is wrong. This is you know the Trinity, the worm. You know God being equivalent to a worm. That's what the Book of Job says. When you turn God into a man, you're saying he's like he's like a worm. That's what Book Job says. Job twenty five. I'll post the verses in the description section. You can read it for yourself. So it's blasphemous to bring God to such a level. So maybe that is a reason why he says they are the worst of creatures. But why do you ignore where the Quran also says that they are nearest in love to the Muslims? So, uh, and the Quran even specifies who they are. He, the Quran says that amongst them, amongst the worst of the creatures concerning the Christians, it says that there are good ones and those good ones are the monks who are not proud they are just the quran says that i'll quote you the verse 
Here you go, the verse is in 582, which says, You will surely find the most intense of the people in animosity towards the believers to be the Jews and those who associate others with Allah. And you'll find the nearest of them in affection to the believers, those who say we are Christians. That is because amongst them there are priests and monks and because they are not arrogant. So although Allah may say that because they've associated partners to God, it makes them the worst of creatures, he still talks good about them and says that they are still nearest in love to the Muslims. Remember, this is an act against God, right? But amongst Muslims, there's a harmonious relationship between Muslims and Christians. But amongst God, they, their evil deeds may make them one of the worst of the creatures. But it doesn't mean that Allah doesn't show them affection in the sense that they are harmonious and in love with Muslims. What, what's the problem with that? But anyway, this is just a quick rebuttal, but a, a more in-depth, in-detail in rebuttal will be posted um, later on in the year. But I want to now bring your attention to how, you know, if the Christians want to mock, mock and have fun with this and say, oh, Allah is a God of hate, he, he looks at Christians as the, as the biggest haters, let's now turn the tables on them. And when I did, I actually got a death threat in the comment section, right? Because I exposed this converted Islam's God that he turned to, to prove that it is just an artificial God. So if you want to have a go at the Islamic God, you know, having to hate Christians, saying that they are the, the worst of creatures, let's now turn the tables on them. And this is what I typed in the comment section, and we'll see the death threats that was put forward by the Christians. So here is my comment. We'll go down onto Converted Islam's page, and... Just over here, I said, I will do a video reply, God willing, tonight. Please subscribe to my video. We'll expose the liar. And as you can see, I posted my comment. And here you can see, I said, and this is what really ticked them off. So here's my comment here on the screen. I said, my video reply will also point point out a christian god says he loves all the creatures even the infidel ones this is concerning the christian god you know christians say that this god he loves all the creatures on the earth including the infidels yet he puts them all in hell imagine a god that keeps telling you he loves you then tortures you with fire so if, for example, we Muslims don't convert to Christ, we will be set on fire by a God that loves us dearly. Seems the biblical God suffers from bipolar, don't you think? One minute he loves me, next minute he wants to burn me with fire. I mean, isn't that a wacko? <laughs> so this really ticked them off. I mean, <laughs> they want to have a go at the Islamic God calling the Christians the worst of creatures for their disbelief, uh, but then their God is pretty much artificial. He tells us he loves everybody. Christians say he loves everybody, and then he wants to put me in hellfire. He wants to put me in, in, in fire. I mean, it makes no sense. He tells me he loves me. I mean, can you imagine your friend comes up to you and he says, hey, look, uh, Mustafa, I really love you, man. You, you're such a, you know, you're a good person. I love you, whatever. And, you know, I just want to tell you I love you. And then next minute, he pulls out a kitchen knife from the kitchen and he starts stabbing me. <laughs> Wouldn't you say that's a wacko? Wouldn't you call that a wacko? So your biblical God, who's artificial, who's deceitful and condescending, he tells me that he loves me and then he puts me in hellfire. So... How do you like that, Mr. Converted to Islam? Hey, well, what are you going to say now? Are you going to, are you going to mock the biblical God like, like you mock the Islamic God? So anyway, a Christian got pretty annoyed with that and he sent me a death threat. Have a look. 
His name is Jay Sean in the comment section. Yeah, I'll blow up the screen so you can see. As you can see, his name is Jay Sean and he says, Mustafa Sahin, an unemployed welfare collector bitch, he deserves a bullet to his head. So look at that. Look at that death threat. <laughs> this is a death threat that's coming from a Christian because he got pretty annoyed on the response. That's how easily they can get ticked off. So you give them a response and a reply which debunks and exposes their God and in return they send you death threats. Congratulations.